Hey guys, it's Jana and welcome to my YouTube channel. So we're coming to you from Los Angeles, California and I'm doing an update of what's in my camera bag today. So I'm going to start with um, my camera bodies, my digital camera bodies and my digital lenses. So right now digitally I'm using the R5 and on this body I have the 50mm 1.2. This is the R6 and I have an adapter here because this is the old version of a Canon 24 to 70 2.8. So again, I just want you to know that this is the R6 and I had to do a, a little um, adapter to go on to, to fit the older Canon 24 to 70 2.8. I have the Canon 100 2.8 macro lens, which I have a video coming out soon that you're gonna be shocked at when in a wedding I use the macro lens. This is the Canon 70 to 200 2.8 then i'm going to move on to my to my film bodies so this is the contacts 645 and it comes with an 80 millimeter lens i also have the light meter this is my favorite film fuji 400 pro which they're not making anymore so sad and then i have to make a little bit of adjustment here because i said that i was just gonna talk about film bodies that's not true okay so this is something that i'm probably the most excited about camera wise in this camera bag and I'm excited to kind of do an in-depth video about this because this is the Fuji 50X camera so this is a medium format digital camera right so what I did is I got an adapter and I put the 80 millimeter contacts lens on this camera so now I'm using a Fuji full frame camera so a medium format camera with a contacts lens on it. So I'm excited to get more into detail about like this whole situation, but that would be a whole video in itself. Um, moving on to my flashes. So I'm a big Profoto fan, and what I'm using right now is just the Profoto A1s. So I have two of them, and I love them. Obviously we have batteries, tons of batteries. I also wanted to share the, th this is the only off-camera light that I use during reception. And this is from Aperture. So when you're taking this to a wedding, you're gonna definitely need to, to bring a light stand. And it's the Aperture Lightstorm 60D. And so you can turn it up, you can turn it down, you can change the, the temperature. It's just really good. And the, the way I found this is like finding a lot of videographers use it at weddings. And it's, sometimes I feel like videographers have really good information about continuous light because they're using it all the time. And the last thing I'm gonna show you is the drone. So drone shots have become like super popular in the wedding world, even for photographers these days. So I have the Parrot drone. So that's the drone that I take to, to my weddings. And a few things that I couldn't fit into uh, this video is um, a ladder. So I'm always carrying a ladder with me to weddings. This is a reflector. And I also have a scrim that's gonna block light as well. Another addition, that I carry is um, flat lace and I get mine from Chasing Stone is the only place I get my flat lace. I love them. It's so beautiful. Actually, the one I'm about to order is an all white one. I used it from this planner in Hawaii and I was just blown away. It's like so, so beautiful. And then obviously some like styling things for the flat lace. So I'll carry like ribbons and little bowls and things like that. So that's about it right now. Okay guys, thank you so much. And if you have any questions that you feel like you want to ask about any of this equipment, please leave those comments and the questions below in the comments. So that'll even help me to know what in the future to make more videos about because that's why I'm here. I want to answer your questions, solve your problems. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. All right. Thanks again, you guys. And as always, stay inspired. Theo and Leo say bye too. Say bye. Say bye.